The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, lifting you up, Lord, thanking you for bringing us through another day. Thank you, God, for allowing us to wake up close in our right minds. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us together today, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Father God. Lord God, help us, Lord God, to understand and know, Father God, what it is that you have in store for us and what you are looking for us to do to advance your kingdom, Father God. And Lord, we give you all the glory, the honor and praise, Lord, as I decrease. You increase within me, Lord God. Lord God, help me to be still and be quiet and move out the way. Holy Spirit, you enter in and have your way in this place today, Father. And Lord, I thank you right now for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do in our lives. Yes. Open our ears that so we may hear what the Spirit is saying this day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. How many of you have uh, gotten either in the mail, through a letter, or on Facebook, or something, different prayers that people want you to pray so that you can be blessed. The main one that I've seen a lot is the prayer of Jabaz. How many have received those type of prayers in the mail? Or have somebody said something to you about pray this prayer? You pray this prayer, God is going to bless you. He's going to give you everything. Pray this prayer. It happens all the time. I received in the mail, or well, not in the mail, but on Facebook the other day, and it's a good prayer. A friend sent me this prayer. And at the time, it was a prayer that I needed. But God said something to me. He said, I want you to delve into this prayer. Look at this prayer and see what the true meaning is. See, sometimes we'll read these prayers and we think it's just for us. Oh, I see everything that I need, God go bless me, it's just for me. But God told me, he said, look into the prayer and see just what I'm saying in this prayer. And I did so. And he gave me the answer. So I'm going to let you in on something about this little prayer, the prayer of Jabalus. Turn with me in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. Hallelujah. 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. It's a good, good prayer. Very good prayer. I'm helping find it. That's what I'm helping. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. And if you need help, you've got plenty of people here that will help you find the scripture. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. That's one thing I like about our church. We've got people here who don't mind helping other people to find God's word and to read God's word. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10. Hallelujah. I'll start at verse 9, then we're going to go to verse 10. When you find it, please stand for the reading of God's word. We're going to just go up to verse 9 first. Hallelujah. I'll give you plenty of time to find it. Thank you, Jesus. And verse 9, it says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brother, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, or territory, whichever is in your Bible, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou would was keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that 
what she requested. You may be seated. This is a prayer of Jabal's. He asked God to bless him, enlarge his territory, let his hand be on him, and keep him from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. What was it about the prayer of Jabez that God granted his request? Many people, like I say, pray the prayer of Jabez for self-satisfaction. They pray this prayer that they may be able to receive from God things that they will lavish upon themselves. But when studying this prayer, I found out that it's not a prayer that is prayed for us, but a prayer that is prayed to do the will of the Father. I never knew that until I delved into what Jabaz was saying. When I looked it up in the Bible, I saw that the reason he was considered to be more honorable than his brothers was because everything that he prayed, everything that he did, everything that he asked for was so that he could bless others. He wanted to be a blessing. He wanted God to bless him so that he may be able to bless others. Amen. It wasn't for him. Yes. It was for others. Yes. See, we must realize that when we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, when we told the Lord that we wanted forgiveness of all of our sins, and we wanted to be in the kingdom of God, we should recognize that that particular time, being a child of God, that we need, God has already granted for us. Amen. So when we pray, our prayer should be so that God will then bless others. Yes. Hallelujah. Because we got what God's going to give us. Yes. And we will get more from the Lord when we turn around and not put it upon ourselves, but say, God, bless me that I may give to somebody else Amen. so that they will be blessed just as I was blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what Jabaz, he did. He knew evil was all around him. It says, if you read his story, it says evil was all around him. His mother said she named Jabaz because he was born in pain. And many of us, we know that we were born in pain. And you might say, yeah, we, we were born in pain, God of the Lord. He must have touched my mama because I know it's hard to bear. I'm not talking about that kind of birth. Evil, evil is all around you and you are born in pain. That means you have gone through some things. You have endured some things. You have got to the point where sometimes you felt like giving up. But God said he will put no more on you than what you could bear. So that means if you've gone through something, God knows how far you can go before he has to enter in and intervene in your life and raise you up and lift you up. Yeah. You will become a living Yes. of what God will do for a person once they give their life over to him. Yes. Jabez was born in pain. He saw evil all around him. Evil was everywhere. But God said, don't you worry, don't you fear. He prayed, Lord, enlarge my territory. Even though there was evil all around him, he wanted God to enlarge his territory. Help me to go through a little bit more so that I can show the world
all that, you know, is open so that you can tour. We didn't have tickets, so we didn't tour. But I told her, I said, I want to see Medea's house. And I didn't, because I, I just wanted to see the house. What was at the point? And she said, Mama, right where his studio is, around the corner, is the house. They call it the Swats. And that means that's the place where a lot of people are poor and homeless and without hope and don't, don't have anything. We passed down, going down uh, Lee Street to Avon Avenue. That's where the house is at. If you haven't seen her in this place, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But we went down Avon Avenue, and on that street, you saw so many homeless. People laying on the street. People have made shelters out of plastic. They're to put it, tied together as best as they possibly could. All on the street. The people that tell you, you, if you don't live in this area, you better be out of here before 5 o'clock. Because you might be missing a car, you might be missing whatever, because there was a lot of crime in that area. But the Lord allowed me to see these people homeless on the street. And that's when I began to think about Jabaz, where he said, enlarge my territory. Lord, I wish I had enough territory. That I may build homes yes. to put these homeless people in. Yes. And you don't have to go to Atlanta to see that. Right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, I know we have a homeless shelter. But it can't hold all the homeless that's right here in Indiana. Right. My heart's desire has been to open up a shelter. To have I been involved in one before and it went well. Hallelujah, because we were connected with the state, when the state went down, Jill Law, I don't know if y'all remember her, but there was women that stayed at Irene Byron that were addicted to drugs, and they had their babies. And so they had a shelter out there for these women and, and doctors and stuff to help these babies. It's no longer. A friend of mine wanted to open up a home, a shelter for pregnant women, and she's having struggles to be able to get it open. You'd be surprised how many homeless, pregnant women are here in Fort Wayne. Amen. You'd be surprised at how many homeless people are out here on the streets here in Fort Wayne. But yet still, when we pray for God to bless us, we consume it upon our own lusts. Instead of taking our blessings and being able to give it yeah. out to somebody else. Amen. For Thanksgiving, my daughter, my daughter to Houston, whenever they cook a big meal, they would take what's left instead of keeping leftovers in the refrigerator. They would take what's left and go down up under the, the vitamins and things and feed the homeless so that they can have a meal. Yeah. How many of us do that today? Or do we throw the excess food away? Why not feed? I know we got the shelter to feed people, but it can't feed them all because all of them don't go. Sometimes you might have to go up under the bridges and take your excess food so that somebody can eat off of the blessing that God has given us. Yes. We need to take time and look into the prayers of Acts and see what it's all about. God bless him. How many people know that there are people, and I can tell you a couple of them, I know more than a couple, that have been blessed by God abundantly. Because the reason why they've been a blessing because they take their blessings and they give them away. Give and it shall come back to you. Yes. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. And run it over what God calls men to give up to your bosom. There are many of them. I know of them. That are turning this city upside down because they don't mind giving God honor. And they don't mind giving out of their own pocket. To help somebody else. If we all did that, we wouldn't have homeless like we have in our days. I know the Bible said that the poor you'll have with you always. Yes, we'll have poor with us always, but we could also help the poor. We could do more for the poor. God knew it was going to be, but He also knew He was going to raise up a, a person, a child, a man, a woman, a family, a church a region, a state, a somebody to come in and help those that are in less position than what we are. 
the prayer of Jabez. Hallelujah. When we pray and when we ask God for different things, don't ask so that it be consumed upon our own, men, our own selves. Ask so that we can bless others. And when we give, God will give it back to us. And it will be coming in ways that you don't need to know. This church is a witness to that. Amen. I can stand here and tell you all the blessings that have come our way. We're not a big church, but we are a praying church. Amen. We are a giving church. Yes. We are a loving church. Yes. And God has protected this church and given this church whatever it needed, when it needed it. Because we give back to the Lord. We don't mind using the, the vouchers to feed somebody. We don't ask a whole lot of questions. If they say they are in need, we're going to trust God that when we give them that voucher to go to get some food, it's going to be what they need at that time. And God always blesses us back. We can't give enough for God to give us back. Little bitty church. Little church in man's eyes. Big church in God's eyes. Amen. Because we are praying church. Yes, if you call us and give us your prayer request, we're going to pray. If you call us and have a need that we can supply, we're going to do it. Yes. If it's something that we can do. But we also use wisdom in everything that we do. Because we know the enemy will have people coming that don't need what they say they need. So we pray and we see God's face and when it hits our heart, yes, this is something that we need to help with. We do our best to do it. Hallelujah. And one thing I've learned, you don't always have to give with money. You can give with love. Amen. You can give with items that individuals may need. And that's what we're all about. To be able to be, to live the prayer of Jesus. Not just to say it, but to live it. We ask God, Lord, enlarge our territory. Not for us, but for God to do it. We're praying that God will send the right people. There have been people that have come to this church and they left because they didn't see what they wanted to see in this church. But those that God has here are those that God desires to be here. And as people join us, and not join the church, but join us in prayer and in love, and those people remain with us, and they grow, because it's not about the building. It's about the Word of God. We want you to grow with God's Word. We want you to see what it is that God has for you. Let you see His Word come alive in your life. Let there be a change in your life. Don't do a 360 degree turnaround because you'll be going back to where you came from. Do a 180 so you can put your back to those things that were negative and not right and raise up yeah. and walk forward into the destiny that God has for you. Yes. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about. And that's what we're all about. So when I found out in this prayer from Jabaz that God blessed him and he blessed him because he wasn't going to use the blessings upon himself. Because he knew he was already blessed being a child of God. But he was going to use it to help others. And the more he helped others, the more God gave to him. We need to be that way. Look into your prayers when you begin to pray them. Study your prayers, those that come to you in Facebook and all these other ways. To see what God is saying. A lot of people I know pray the prayer of the boss so they can consume it upon themselves. Yeah, I prayed that prayer. I even heard people say, I prayed that prayer. That's an evil prayer. I prayed that prayer. Did nothing happen for me? That's because you were consuming it upon your own lust instead of looking into it to see what it was all about. It was a prayer of giving. From a giving heart. It was a prayer that wanted to put God first in everything that he did. Because God's word wants us to be living witnesses and living testimonies of who he is. And to help our fellow man, to love our fellow man like he loves us. 
And that's what Tobias was all about. He prayed the prayer according to the will of God. And his prayers got answered. When you pray, are you praying your prayer according to the will of God? And the will of God will always include blessing somebody. Are you praying those kind of prayers? Or are you praying prayers for God to help you not considering the other man? We need to really think about it. Because he said, pray my will. What is his will? You got to know God's will in order to pray his will. And when we pray his will, he will bless it because his will is his word. And when his word goes out, it does not come back void. It will accomplish what it's been set out to do. We need to walk as king's kids. We need to walk and talk as king's kids. We need to stop being concerned about our help and all what we need because we are king's kids. And king's kids don't have needs. King's kids are blessed. Yes. King's kids get all that they desire because they daily will provide for them. Amen. So long as they're doing it and asking according to his will. Amen. Walk like a king's kid. Talk like a king's kid. But most of all, love like a king's kid. And if you love like a king's kid, you will pray according to the king. And you will receive from the king what he has for you so that you may help somebody else to become a child of the king. Remember Javaz. Remember his prayer. Remember how he prayed. Remember that God blessed him according to what he asked God. He gave it to him because he knew he would do it. What he would do with it would be right. If you want God's blessings, pray according to his word and do what is right according to his word. God bless you.
greater than our God. Amen. Nobody's greater. We searched all over. Can't find nobody greater than our God.
Amen. Amen. Nobody is greater than you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. At this time, we'd like to prepare for our offering. Amen. 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 Let's give an offering out of applause. Amen. Amen. We have been blessed through this offering. And we thank the Lord. Amen.